Within these videos we want to show you changes in Opencast 3.0. This episode focuses on the streamlined video editor. The first change can be noticed within the events table where you now have a scissors icon that indicates that the job needs editing. The editor might look familiar to the old one, but you have some very useful changes. The workflow selector has been moved to the top. The tab selector for playback view or editor view are also on the top now. Below the video you have the improved timeline that offers a way enhanced zoom where you can see on the uh, slider below which area of the uh, video you are now see in the waveform view below. And within the waveform you have segments already suggested for removal. These come from the silence detection that has run before the video editor and audio parts under a, a certain threshold will be suggested for removal. But it's up to you to still keep these segments if you want to. Below the slider you now have uh, the scissors icon that allows you to split the video at a certain time. You can also do this by keyboard shortcuts and uh, you can also navigate through the segments with keyboard shortcuts and uh, you can use backspace to remove a segment. You also now have a check transition function that plays the last two seconds of the previous segments and jumps to the beginning of your current segment so that you can check if the audio is fine. Bei irgendwie mit den Videoaufzeichnungen schädlicher Qualität. Alles ist auf dieser Webseite zu finden. There are a lot more keyboard shortcuts that you can configure within the multi-tenant configuration. That is in your configuration directory, the file org opencast project organization mhdefaultorg.cfg. As you can see, you can configure the player shortcuts and you can configure the editor shortcuts. Additionally to the improved timeline, we also now have list of all the segments within the video where you can edit the start and end times, but uh, the very start and the very end are always fixed and cannot be edited. But for example, you can now say that a segment starts six minutes later and the time of the follow-up segment will also be adjusted. You can also use this segment view to say that you want to include the segment or that you want to remove the segment completely. These functions are also available on each segment in the timeline now where you have the checkbox to include the segment or to remove the segment completely. Additionally to the improved segments, you also have now a tab where you can edit the metadata and you have a tab where you can create comments or resolve them. Below you also have the workflow selector now where you can start processing of this uh, edited job afterwards. I want to thank you for your attention 